rods, speed, and high energy. They're the adrenaline of race car driver and Hollywood stuntman, Sammy Maloof. My life as a child, it's always been in vehicles. Something to do with either go-karts, mini bikes, bicycles, anything to do that moved, anything to do that, that had some kind of motor on it, I wanted to be part of, and if it didn't have a motor on it, I'm gonna put a motor on it. Sammy's need for speed became an obsession, so he started illegally street racing in Los Angeles. The stuff I built was fast, super fast, super dependable. Fueled by his competitive edge, Sammy started fighting in bars for money. Give me your hand a minute. It would be, we would take somebody's finger and lock it in. You would hold your fist, I would hold mine, they would say go, and you would twist until somebody's finger would snap for $1,000. Ironically, Sammy thought his life was completely normal. It was just a thing to do. I mean, people that were, people that were free of things, they could look and say, you know, that kid, he's got some issues. But you tell me that, I would look at him and say, no, you got the issues. Then he met a radio DJ who loved hot rods. The man took a special interest in Sammy. I heard my name being mentioned on the radio. Hey, I met this guy out in San Gabriel. He's got a race car shop, man. I just want to say hi to my friend, Sammy. I said, wow, man, he said something about me. Well, that 10 o'clock or 10, 10 30 that day, I see Ken pull up in his charger. He goes, hey, man, you remember me? I go, yeah. I go, you said something about me this morning on your radio station. He goes, yeah, man, you're my friend. So we started talking. I said, is that your car? He goes, yeah. I go, let me look at it. I looked at it. I go, man, there's a lot of things wrong. He goes, I know. Everybody tells me the same thing. You need a carburetor. You need a distributor. You need this. You need... I go, let me tell you something. You let me dial your car in. If you don't notice a change, don't pay me a dime. So he goes, let me ask you something. He goes, you're into power and you're into all this stuff. He goes, but do you know Jesus? I go, yeah, I know Jesus, man. He goes, who is he? I says, he's the son of God. And he goes, that's not all he is. Who else is he? I couldn't say anything else because I didn't know anything else. He says, man, if you really want to know what supernatural power is, you need to ask Jesus in your heart. Captivated by the word power, Sammy asked Jesus to be his savior and immediately sensed a change. I knew something went in and it pushed something out. At that second, I didn't say that minute, that second, God had took what was inside of me and pulled it out this quick. I was transformed. I had no hangups no more. It was over with. The insecurity, the, the competition, the fear, the doubt, the unbelief. Sammy knew illegal racing was wrong. He prayed that God would make a way to legally race with a new race car. And God said, obey the laws of the land and I'll give you a race car. I says, who am I racing? They pointed to him, I walk over, I go, my name is Sammy Maloof. He goes, I know who you are. I go, well, check it out, dude, I'm not racing tonight. Everybody in that parking lot turned on me like a snake in the grass. My, the, the guy says, I didn't come all the way out here for you to be some little bedwetter, some little thumb sucker that can't race. I go, well, check it out, dude. There's a lot of cars out here for you to race. Now, before if there, somebody said that to me, it was, a, it was knuckle junction. So a week goes by, no race car. Two weeks go by, still no race car. One day, I'm walking out of my engine room in that GT1 vet back there was sitting there. It's been there for six years. It was belonged to one of my customers. He was storing it here. And I looked at that car and I said, God, is that the car you want me to have? Because if that's the car you want me to have, I want it. A week goes by, the man walks in, goes, where's Sammy? He's in the engine room building an engine. He comes walking in, he goes, you got a minute? I go, absolutely. He goes, I'm gonna give you that car. You've done so much for our family. I'm gonna give you that car. I said, will you excuse me a minute? I walked out, I said, glory be to God, Father, I thank you for my car. Sammy now races legally for regional and national events in the GT1 division, in addition to his Hollywood stunt work. He also takes his hot rods across the nation, performing stunts and talking to people about the power of Jesus Christ. And he's teaching the same lessons to his kids. Jesus Christ is Lord of my life, and I teach them how to win at the race of life. 
and overcome the doubt, fear, and unbelief. God is saying, be at peace. Know that I'm God. Be anxious for nothing. I'll direct your path. He doesn't want you to have trial and error. He wants you to have trial and success.